What's going on guys, this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create multi-user login form in ASP.NET using SQL Server database. In the process of creating an application which may be accessed by the multiple number of client, then there is a need of multi-user system. When developing such a system, different users have different designation in their office. So, the developer need to make sure that the specified user of the system exists only those features that they need to access and should not access other users features. For example, administrator of a system should access all the features of an application but normal user should not. Without furthermore any explanation, let's do it. Open up Visual Studio, go to File, click on New, click on Project and select Visual C -Sub. under Visual C -Sub, select Web and select ASP.NET web application and give the name of your web application and then click on OK. Now select empty, click OK. Now each web pages in ASP.NET are called web form. So we need to add new web form. Right click over your solution, click on add and then click on web form. You can also give the name of your web form like home and then click OK. Now inside this web form, we are going to design a simple multi-user login form. So I am going to use table align is equal to center and inside that table we need four rows. So tr inside that tr table data that is td and we need two table data in each row. So td. Now simply copy this and paste three times. Two, three, four. Now here goes username and here goes password. Here goes select user type. Now go to that second TD of the photo and double click text box and change the ID of this text box like txt user. Similar process in case of password. Here goes txt pass. And here goes. In case of Visual C sub, when you are create a multi user login form, we are going to use a combo box. But here in case of ESP.NET, we have drop down list. So double click that drop down list. And you can also change the ID or you can leave as it is. So I am going to leave as it is. And here goes one button. So double click that button and button ID you can leave as it is because we are going to use only one button in our application. But if you have many buttons, you need to change the button ID because it's very easy to remember while you are writing a code. So go back to the design, select this design. Now we need to add some user. So click that drop down list and from the property of this drop down list, find item property double click that item property click on add here goes admin and another one here goes user click ok now we need to create a database in SQL server so open up SQL server management studio and then right click over database click on new database and then give the name of the database like ASP M user and click OK. Now expand that database folder or directory whatever you call it and you need to find your recently created database. Again expand that recently created database and right click over table, click on table and here goes username and data type is bear care. Here goes password, data type is bear care and again here goes user type bear care. Simply click Ctrl in S simultaneously from your keyboard and give the name of your table and then click OK. Now we need to insert some value in our table so expand this table and right click over the recently created table and click on edit top 20 rows. Now here goes admin, password is admin, user type is admin and another username is admin, another password is admin and the user type is user. 
you should not use such an easy username and password in your system i am using it because i am going to demonstrate to you so just close it it will automatically save now go back to visual studio and double click this button oh we forget to give the text of this button so go back to source and here it goes login again go back to design double click that login button now we need to use some namespace so here using system dot data and another one is using system dot data dot sql client now we need to connect our application with the database so go to server explorer and right click over data connection click on add connection this is the data source to sql server and here you can uh, click this drop down icon or you can simply type your server name if you click uh, in this drop down icon you will able to show the server name now select your database spm user and then click okay now go to property of that data connection and from that property copy the connection string now go back to the clicking event of that login button and here we are going to connect this application with the database so sql connection con is equal to new sql connection and here goes the parameter connection string now sql data adapter sda is equal to new sql data adapter the sql data adapter acts as a adapter between our application and the database now here we are going to write the query so select all from the table name that is ascm user where user name is equal to two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and here goes txt user dot text and password is equal to password is equal to similar for two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign here goes txt pass dot text and user type is equal to similar process here goes drop down list one dot selected item dot to string and here goes connection now we are going to use the data table class data table because we are going to access the database table contains so data table dt is equal to new data table and we are going to fill this table with sda dot fill dt now if dt dot rows dot count is greater than 0 means if the user input value is match with the database content what you need to do is we need to do something inside here but if the user input value is not match what we need to do is we need to display the message to the user so response dot write here goes error in your input and here what we are going to do is we are going to inform the user that you are logging is either admin or user or whatever their designation so here goes response dot write and i'm going to use the script scrpt script plus scrpt and here i'm going to display the alert box so alert that was you are log log i need to log in as we are going to access the database uh, table row value so dt dot row and the index is 2 that means we are going to access the user type that is i am going to let me show you 
this one is index 0 this one is index 1 and this one is index 2 that means we are going to exit the user type so 2 and plus sign and double square single square and then close now here if the user select admin what we need to do is we need to if drop down list one dot selected index is equal to zero what we need to do is we need to redirect uh, to the user to the admin page so let me add some waveform also so right click over that solution click on add and then waveform here goes admin and here I am going to use s1 html tag and this one is admin page just save it another one user here goes s1 user page just save it now go back to the CS code and what we are going to do is we are going to redirect the user to that admin page so server dot transfer and here goes admin dot aspx you can also use response dot redirect and what I'm going to use server dot transfer now else if the user select drop down list one dot selected index is equal to one what we need to do is we need to display another page that is server dot transfer here goes user dot aspx now if you have more than two user what you need to do is you need to write else if drop down list one dot selected index is equal to two and at the last you can write else condition you have many options in order to execute this program so go to property and I'm going to show you and then go to web and here you can see server is either IS express or local IS or external host if you want to execute this application in your local IS you need to install local IS in your system but if you want to run this application in IS express you don't need to do anything because IS express is built in uh, application of visual studio now select your home page that's the main page and then select any browser that you want to execute this application with I'm going to use Google Chrome and click that triangle icon now enter your username here admin and the password is admin and select the user type that is admin and then click login now the uh, alert box says you are logged in as admin here you can see admin and then click ok admin page now again when you type the username admin password admin and the user type is select user and then click login the uh, local host says you are logged in as user so click ok you go to the user page so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this useful tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon because when i upload a new video tutorial you will get the notification and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day 